So, welcome to the Foreign Correspondent Club. Today, we have, a, let's say, heavy weight of the new Abe administration with us. Minister of Justice, um, Mr. Tanigaki. It's not necessary to introduce him too long because he has an impressive political career. I think it's the 11th time he was elected now for Diet without any interruption. He had a hard job to lead the LDP in opposition times, which is not fun, as um, every politician who has been opposition leader might tell us. And now he's uh, back in power, in office, as a Minister of Justice. And somebody might be surprised, he's much more involved in the other administration's policy because the Ministry of Justice cares for things like corporate law, immigration law, even tourism, as I learned. Uh, and uh, so, Mr. Tanigaki will give us some overview about what's happening at the moment, and then we will have Q&A. And I would like to give you a warm welcome to our guest today. And uh, before Mr. Tanigaki starts, please uh, switch off your mobile phones or make them silent mode. え、I've just been introduced. I am uh, Sadakazu Tanigaki, Minister of Justice. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to the FCCJ. It is a great honor. Actually, I've spoken here several times, and I have many, many uh, very uh, uh, deep memories uh, of my uh, experiences here. Today, I'm here in my capacity as Justice Minister, and so I will be speaking about several topics that are important for the administration's work uh, in the legal area. あの、おとい会社法の改正についてお聞きいただきたいと思っております。as I'm sure you're aware, the Ministry of Justice uh, is in charge of a, a wide variety of uh, responsibilities. For example, we are uh, looking after uh, what is called toki in Japanese, uh, the officially registered documents uh, for various legal matters. We also uh, look after the koseki, which are the family registries. We also look after uh, kos uh, kokseki, or uh, citizenship um, documents. We're also involved in uh, criminal uh, code uh, policies. In other words, one of our big uh, uh, challenges is how to take people who have been incarcerated and return them uh, back into society. We also are involved in protecting human rights. Um, as I said earlier, uh, we are involved in a wide variety of um, matters. However, today I would like to focus on three topics. One, I would like to tell you about some of the issues we are facing in, in terms of um, immigration control policies. Secondly, I would like to talk about uh, the revisions uh, that were recently passed by the ordinary session of the Diet uh, that just ended, revisions to the uh, Companies Act or Corporations Act. Uh, and thirdly, I would like to talk about some of our efforts to help with the recovery efforts. 
あの一つ目のトピックスでございますあの、出入国管理をめぐる課題のうちですね、まずあの、観光立国に向けた取り組みについて申し上げたいと存じます。あの我が国はかねてから、ビジットジャパンキャンペーン。などと申しまして、韓国観光立国の実現に向けて取り組んでまいりましたが、昨年, 1昨年1年間の外国人の入国者数、これがあの1125万人という数字でございました、年間で初めてあの1000万人を超えたというところでございます。Uh, first topic is about、um, our immigration control、uh, policies.、Uh, we have been working very, very hard to make Japan、uh, what we refer to as a tourism based country. In other words, tourism should be one of the pillars of our economy.、Uh, as a result, we have been、uh, working.、Uh, For, on campaigns, PR campaigns such as the Visit Japan campaign,、uh, to encourage visitors to come、uh, visit our country. As a result, last year, 11.25 million、uh, foreign visitors came to Japan. This is the first time that the annual number of visitors from abroad、um, surpassed 10 million、uh, people per year. 政府は観光立国をさらにあの推進したいと考えておりまして、昨年3月、あの全部の閣僚を構成員といたします、観光立国推進閣僚会議というのを作りまして、えー、同じ年の6月、観光立国実現に向けたアクションプログラムを決定しまして、このプログラムを先月、改定したところでございます。Uh, in order to make Japan、uh, a tourism based country,、uh, last March we、uh, had all of the members of the cabinet become part of a committee, a committee to promote、uh, Japan as a tourism based uh, uh, country. And、uh, several months later, in June of last year, we actually created an action based action program to realize this goal. And this action program was revised just last, last month. 法務省は出入国管理を担当しておりますので、外国人旅行者が円滑に日本に入っていただけるよう、審査手続きのこの待ち時間を短縮していくということを一つ目標にしております。また、入国審査官は、外国人旅行者が初めて対面する日本人だということがしばしばあるわけでございますので、えー、日本にあの好印象を持っていただけるよう、えー、おもてなしの気持ちを大切に、あのホスピタリティの向上ということにも努めていきたいと考えております。As I mentioned earlier, the Ministry of Justice is in,、uh, in charge of immigration control policies.、Uh, as a result, we are trying to、uh, encourage more and more、uh, foreign visitors to come to Japan, and we're trying to make it easier for them to enter the country. What I mean by this is、uh, that we are trying to shorten the waiting time for them to go through the inspection、uh, process when they first enter the country. Not only that, the immigration officials that they meet at the airport are often, for many foreign visitors, the first Japanese that they actually have contact with. To ensure that、uh, they receive a positive impression of Japan, we are ensuring. We are trying to encourage immigration officials to show a feeling of omotenashi or hospitality to these visitors. それからビザ発給要件の緩和につきましては、あの昨年7月にタイ、それからマレーシアに対するビザ免除等の措置が取られまして、えー、今回のアクションプログラムにおきましても、インドネシア、それからフィリピン、ベトナムに対するビザ要件の緩和が盛り込まれたところでございます、で今後、こういった対象国からの入国者の一層の増加が期待されるわけでありますが、ビザ緩和による問題が生じないように、あの関係省庁と連携をきちっとしながら、対応していこうと考えております。As part of our efforts, we're trying to、uh, make the requirements for issuing visas or obtaining visas much easier、uh, than ever before. Last July, we implemented uh, measures uh, for countries such as Thailand and Malaysia, making、um, some、uh, visa exceptions, exemptions、uh, possible for visitors from, that from these countries.、Um, these kinds of measures have also been included in the current revised action program as well. In other words,、uh, from countries such as Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam,、uh, we're going to be relaxing some of the visa requirements. Uh, as a result of these、uh, visa changes,、uh, we are going to be expecting larger and larger inflows of visitors from these nations. But we are going to work also、uh, very closely with related ministries to ensure that simply by relaxing the visa requirements,、uh, we uh, are not going to have an increase in problems related、uh, to foreign visitors. We want to make sure that、uh, problems can be avoided. So, I'm going to say that the new country has been 
ところでございますが、出入国審査にあの自動化ゲートというものを取り入れまして、その利用拡大を図る、それから最近は日本にもずいぶんクルーズ船があのたくさんあの、えー、来ていただいておりますが、その上陸審査の,あの円滑、円滑化、迅速化のための措置などもあの講じたところでございます。2020年に東京オリンピック・パラリンピック、東京大会が行われるわけでございますので、多くの外国人旅行者に日本に来ていただくために、あの効率化を図りながら、必要な物的あるいは人的体制の整備を図って、正確な審査を滞りなく実施できるよう、取り組んでまいりたいと考えております。Also,、uh, part of the、uh, immigration control、uh, law was revised、uh, last month. As a result,、uh, many of you may have noticed that we have automated gates that help、uh, with the immigration inspection process. We're going to be expanding the use of these automated gates to make the uh, entry uh, process much faster. Also, we're Very fortunate in Japan in that large cruise ships are now visiting、uh, Japan in、um, greater numbers. So we want to make the disembarkation、uh, process, in other words,、uh, let them get off the boats as quickly as possible and into the country as quickly as possible.、Uh, and we are therefore、uh, having more efficient、um, inspection processes for these cruise ships. We're also thinking ahead to 2020. This is when we're going to be having the Olympics and the Paralympics in Tokyo. We expect a very large、uh, influx of foreign visitors.、Uh, therefore, we are very aware of the fact that we need to make our efficient even more. More, uh, to make our systems even more efficient than ever before. We have the intention of investing in the physical and human resources、uh, to make sure that the system works very, very smoothly. We want to be sure to have a smooth and efficient system, but also an accurate and correct inspection system as well. So, next, I'm going to talk about the code of 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 the c o d o the c o d そういう専門的な知識や技術を生かして、日本の社会で活躍していただくということは、我が国の経済社会の活性化、あるいは国際化に大いに寄与することであると考えております。I'd now like to talk、uh, about a little bit about the,、uh, the acceptance of、uh, highly skilled professionals from abroad.、Uh, this is a very, very important topic for us. In other words,、uh, to be able to invite、uh, foreign professionals who have expert knowledge in a wide variety of fields, to be able to have them、uh, be active in Japan is something that will be very positive for our society. They will help contribute、uh, to the growth of our、uh, economy. あのそこでは、国ではこういう高度人材と言われる方々を海外からできるだけ来ていただく、そして定着をしていただくということを目的といたしまして、2012年の5月から、ポイント制によりまして、入国管理上の優遇措置を設けると、こういう制度を実施しております。あの今申しし上げままて優遇措置と言いますのはは具体的には永住許可を受けるための要件とされている在留歴、これが10年でございますが、それを5年に短縮する、それから家事使用人や親の同行を認めるといったことであります。あの昨年の12月にはこの制度の魅力を高めるための見直しを行い、あの広報にもあの務,めた務めてきたところでございますが、この認定者数はあの着実に増えてきております。We、uh, want to encourage、uh, these highly skilled、uh, foreign professionals、uh, to come to Japan in larger numbers than ever before. We would like for them to、uh, settle here and be active in、uh, Japanese society. As a result,、um, in May of 2012, we began what we call a points based preferential immigration treatment system for these highly skilled. Excuse me, highly skilled foreign professionals. What this means is that we give、uh, preferential treatment uh, uh, regarding uh, these uh, skilled professionals. Uh, for example,、uh, in order to gain permanent、uh, residency status、uh, in Japan,、uh, you had to have lived in Japan generally at least 10 years. We're relaxing that requirement to just five years. Also, for people who do receive this designation as highly skilled foreign professionals, they will receive permission to bring their spouse, parent,、um, even a domestic worker、uh, if, if they meet certain conditions. Um, in fact,、uh, last December we reviewed the system and、uh, tried to make it even more attractive、uh, to the kinds of highly skilled foreign professionals we would like to invite to Japan. As a result of this revision and as a result of our PR work,、uh, we are gr-、um, definitely seeing an increase in the number of people who have been designated as highly skilled foreign professional. 
、それからあのこの通常国会で改正されました入管法によりまして、えー、新たにあの高度人材のための在留資格が設けられまして、えー、高度人材として3年以上在留するなど、一定の条件を満たした方を対象として、在留期間が無期限という在留資格を許可することも可能となりました、こういう高度人材に関する新たな制度は、来年4月から開始される予定でございます。As I mentioned、uh, in the previous、uh, diet session, we made even further revisions、uh, to this immigration control、uh, law for these highly skilled uh, professionals. Uh, now, uh, if highly skilled professionals stay in Japan、uh, over three years、uh, and meet certain conditions, they will be able to receive、um, uh, permission to stay in Japan without any kind of time limit. This new system will come into effect next April. I have been in the past. 科学技術庁長官といったような仕事もさせていただきまして、その当時、あの筑波の研究学園都市に、いかに海外の,あの研究者が、あなんていうんでしょうか、気持ちよく定着していただくことができるかということにも取り組んでまいりましたが、海外から優秀な方々に来て、あの日本で活躍していただくためには、あの出入国管理における優遇措置ということだけではなく、生活環境や就労,かん就労環境の,あの整備も必要でございます、これはあの法務省だけでできることではありませんが、政府全体で、あるいは地方自治体とも連携して、えー、検討していかなければならないかんということだと思っております。こういうい我が国政府の取りり組みを広く世界へ発信してていいいたただけたらありがたいとこのように思っているところでございます。I have uh, served uh, in various posts in、uh, previous governments.、Uh, in the past, I was、uh, once、uh, the Director General of the Science and Technology Agency. As part of my responsibilities, I visited、uh, Tsukuba uh, City uh, quite often. As you know, this is a research university、um, town、uh, that has many, many foreign researchers、uh, and students、uh, working and being active there. And、um, I came to realize that、uh, it is not simply enough、uh, to be able to relax、uh, or give preferential treatment of,、uh, immig for immigration. Uh, purposes to these foreign professionals. If you want to invite、uh, outstanding skilled workers from abroad, you have to do more than that. You have to be able to offer a、um, very attractive、uh, living environment, you have to offer a very attractive working environment. And of course, these are、um, Uh, areas that fall、uh, outside the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Justice. What I'm saying, therefore, is that we at the Ministry of Justice must work in close coordination with the entire government and perhaps also with、uh, local governments as well to ensure that,、um, the, uh, that Japan becomes a place where foreign professionals wish to work. We would be very grateful if you could convey、uh, our intentions、uh, to the general public. あの次に技能実習制度の見直しについてあの申し上げたいと存じます。技能実習制度というのは、本来あの、技能移転による国際貢献というのを目的とした制度でございますけれども、その趣旨、目的と実態との間にずいぶん乖離があるのではないかと、えー、単純労働力、あるいは低賃金労働力を確保するためにあの利用されて、えー、賃金の不払い等々といった人権問題が、人権侵害が生じているのではないかというあのご批判、ご指摘もあるところでございます。Uh, in regard to、um, other、uh, kinds of immigration、uh, control matters, I would like to talk a little bit about、um, what is called the Technical Intern Training Program.、Uh, originally, this、uh, Technical Intern Training Program was considered to be a very, very positive thing. It was a way of Japan being able to contribute to the international community by creating a system where technology or knowledge transfers could be、uh, made uh, from Japan to、um, other、uh, less developed countries.、Uh, however, although we started off with a very, very、um, high goal, in reality,、uh, the system has quite often Been、uh, criticized as being abused.、Uh, in other words,、uh, some people have been using the system to simply secure、uh, very cheap labor for very simple work.、Uh, and uh, some uh, critics have even pointed out that there have been very bad cases where wages that were promised were not even paid. In other words, they were even、um, human rights violations. のこの制度につきましてはあの、私の指摘諮問機関でございます、出入国管理政策懇談会の,あの分科会で、
見直しの方向性を検討していただきまして、先月、報告書をいただいたところであります。でこの報告書におきましては制度本来の趣旨、目的を離れて、制度を利用することが困難となるように改正して、そして技能実習生の人権侵害が発生しないよう、十分な配慮を行う必要があるという指摘がなされております。I therefore wanted to deal with this issue, and I created a private deliberation committee.、Uh, it's a subcommittee of the Immigration Control Policy Deliberation Council.、Uh, they uh, deliberated uh, this matter and came up with a report、uh, just last month. In the report, they said that the system should be overhauled.、Uh, they should make it,、uh, this new system should be one that cannot be、uh, subject to abuse,、uh, that cannot be、uh, used as a way to、uh, create human rights violations. あのそのためにあの技能等の習得移転を確実に達成できる受け入れ機関にだけ、えー、受け入れを認めてで合わせて技能実習生の人権保護の強化やあ管理団体の体制の強化それから関係機関による監視体制の構築等と技能,技能実習制度がから不適,不適切な団体を排除するための提言をいただきました。Uh, part of the report、uh, talked about the fact that、uh, only institutions or organizations that had proved、uh, to have been faithful to the original concept of this、uh, training program should be allowed to、uh, accept interns in the future.、Uh, they also, the report also said that、uh, measures should be put into place to protect the human rights of the interns that come, and there should be stronger oversight of the entire process. And also, organizations that had been shown to have abused this system should be removed from the program. 以上のような制度の適正化をまず前提といたしまして、有料な受け入れ機関には、技能実習期間の延長、あるいは再技能実習、それから受け入れ人数枠の拡大を認めること、それから職種の拡大についても検討すべきという。Of course, the report、uh, was not simply only critical of uh, the uh, bad organizations or, uh, or uh, the abusive organizations or people involved.、Uh, they were also positive in wanting to support the organizations that、uh, were faithful to the original idea of this in,、uh, intern training program. For these high quality organizations,、uh, the report said that they should be allowed to lengthen the stay、uh, in Japan of the trainees. They should be allowed、uh, to increase the numbers of trainees that they can accept. They should even allow、um, some of the trainees to repeat、uh, the training program. And they should also expand、uh, the numbers or types of work or jobs or、uh, technical skills that they offer training for. あの今度改定されました日本最高戦略におきましてもあの外国人技能実習制度の抜本的見直しを行って、えー、必要な法案を提出するということとされておりますで法務省としましても今後こういったことを踏まえまして、えー、関係省庁と協議しながらあ制度の見直しの実現に向けた取り組みを早急に行っていきたいと考えております。So,、uh, in the recently revised、uh, Japan Revitalization Strategy, or the Japan is Back Strategy,、uh, it has also uh, been um, indicated that、um, all of the necessary bills、uh, to change or revise or correct this current training program should be drafted as quickly as possible. In other words, we fundamentally wish to be able to uh, invite uh, foreign interns uh, to study、uh, in Japan, and the Ministry of Justice will work closely with related ministries to make this possible. あの以上、出入国管理の,あの管理をめぐる課題の一端につきまして、えー、お話をさせていただきましたが、安心安全な社会という日本の魅力を保ちながら、多くの外国人旅行者に、えー、日本を訪れていただく、あるいは外国の方々が日本で活躍をしていく、その場が広がると、これが我が国の成長につながるよう、いろいろな政策の実現に向けてあの力を入れて取り組んでまいりたいと。So, I've talked in some detail about some of the policies or challenges or issues that we're undertaking in the area of immigration control. Our fundamental intent is to try to present、uh, the, a positive image of Japan、uh, to the world as a safe country, as a country where you can、uh, travel or work with peace of mind. We want to encourage more visitors to come visit Japan. We want to encourage more、uh, foreigners to study and work、uh, in Japan because we believe、uh, that the contribution of、uh, these persons from abroad will contribute greatly to the Japanese economy. あの次に2つ目の,あの話題といたしましてです、ね、先般の通常国会で成立しました
、会社法の改正について申し上げたいと思います。えー、今年の6月20日あの、かねてから国会に提出しておりましたあ、会社法の一部を改正する法律が成立をいたしました、えー、この改正の経緯、目的、それから概要について、えー、お話をしたいと存じます。So my second topic、uh, is about、uh, the changes or the revisions to the corporate law or company law、uh, that was passed by the、uh, previous session of the Diet. On June、uh, 20th,、uh, the bill was passed, and I'd like to explain some of the background and the reasons for the revisions. あの会社におけるあのコーポレートガバナンスに関する規律につきましては、経営者からの影響を受けない社外取締,取締役の機能をあの活用するなど、業務執行に対する監査監督の在り方を見直,見直すべきであるという指摘が。従来からなされておりました。I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but there had long been criticism about corporate governance in Japan that there needed to be more external directors in companies that did not receive direct influence of the management. There also needed to be stronger supervisory oversight of corporate management. あのこの指摘の背景には、日本企業ではです、ね、コーポレートガバナンスが十分ではないために、外国企業と比較して、収益力が低い、あるいは株価低迷の原因となっている、こういうあの内外投資家といいますか、特に海外の投資家から、そのような不信感が。あのあったということが背景にあると存じます。We consider this corporate governance issue to be a very, very important one because it has long been said that corporate governance is weak in Japanese companies compared to foreign companies, and that is one of the reasons why profitability for Japanese companies is lower than for foreign companies. It is also said that this lack of corporate governance or weak corporate governance is one reason for the low stock prices for Japanese companies, and it is also the reason that many investors, particularly foreign investors, have a Fundamental mistrust of Japanese companies. また、あの我が国の会社法制におきましてはです、ね、以前からあの親子会社に対する、関する規律等が十分ではない、整備がまだ十分ではない、こういうご指摘もございました。There was also another criticism about the very close relationship that Japanese companies maintained within groups of companies, especially the parent company and subsidiary company relationship did not always seem to have the kind of discipline that was necessary. コーポレートガバナンスを強化することによりまして、えー、コンプライアンスの強化、それから企業経営の効率性の向上を図る、それからあの親子会社に関する規律等の整備を図る、こういったことを目的としております。でこの改正によりまして、えー、日本企業に対する内外の投資家からの信頼が高まって、えー、日本企業に対する投資が促進される、そしてひいてはこれが日本経済の成長につながっていくのではないか。So, given this criticism, given、uh, this background, we have decided to、uh, revise the、uh, company laws to strengthen corporate governance, to strengthen compliance within companies, and to also thereby increase the management efficiency uh, of uh, companies.、Uh, we also wanted to create an environment where there would be stricter discipline maintained between parent companies and subsidiary companies. As a result of all of these revisions to the company、uh, law, we believe that the trust uh, uh, for uh, Japanese companies among investors. Both domestic and foreign will only increase, and as a result, investments in Japanese companies will increase. We believe all of this will result in a, a positive contribution to the growth of the Japanese economy. あの改正内容は多岐にわたりますが、あの社外取締役の選任に関して申し上げれば、その機能を活用するために、あのヨーロッパ諸国で採用されているあのコンプライオーエクスプレインルールを参考として、参考とした規律を設けております。すなわち改正法ではですね、社外取締役を置いていない上場会社等の取締役に、定時株主総会において、社外取締役を置くことが相当でない理由を説明する義務を課しております。So, the actual、uh, revisions to the corporate law,、uh, corporations law, is very, very wide uh, in uh, nature, but I'm just going to focus on a couple of our main points. One is that uh, the uh, 
more active use of external or outside directors uh, is a, an important feature of the revisions. And when we changed our law, we took as our reference point uh, a rule that is used in Europe called the comply or explain rule. What this means is that if a listed company makes a decision not to uh, employ um, outside or external directors uh, in its board of directors, it must, uh, it is under an obligation to explain to its shareholders at its annual general shareholders meeting why they feel they do not need external directors. なお東京証券取引所ではですね今年の2月からあ上場会社はあ取締役である独立役員を少なくとも1名以上確保するよう努めなければならないこういう旨の上場規則を設けておりますこういった規律が相まって、えー、社外取締役の導入に向けたあ各社の取り組みが一段と強化されまして、えー、日本企業のコーポレートガバナンスがあ強化していくと。Uh, there are similar movements、uh, already in the, move,、uh, in the business world.、Um, as many of you know, the Tokyo Stock Exchange in February of this year、uh, presented a new、uh, regulation, which was that listed companies must make their best efforts to employ at least one external、uh, director who is a truly independent director in their board.、Uh, as a result of all of these uh, different um, actions, uh, we believe that、uh, eventually Japanese companies will see、uh, better corporate governance. And this will、uh, add to again the growth of the Japanese economy. So, the question is, what are the reasons why the government is not going to be able to do it? The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. その子会社や孫会社の取締役等々の責任について、代表訴訟を提起することができる、こういう制度を言うわけでございます。Also, I mentioned earlier that there was a problem about being able to maintain strict discipline between parent companies and subsidiary companies. As a result of the revision of the corporate uh, law, uh, company law, we now、uh, have a new system where shareholders will be able to、uh, launch what is called a multiplex derivative lawsuit. What this means is that if you have a group of companies and you have a parent company and a subsidiary,、uh, if the subsidiary、uh, makes some kind of a, uh, um, a, um, a Is problematic in some way, then the shareholders of the parent company can、uh, sue, launch a lawsuit against the directors of the subsidiary、uh, company. This was something that was、uh, not possible before. On behalf of the subsidiary itself, the shareholders of the parent company can file a lawsuit. あのこの改正は日本企業に対する信頼を高めようとするものでございますので、あの皆様にもこのような改正法の趣旨につきまして、えー、ぜひご理解をいただきたいと考えているところでございます。This revision was done deliberately in order to try to increase investor trust for Japanese companies, and we ask for your kind consideration and understanding of our intentions. あの3つ目のトピックといたしまして、東日本大震,大震災の復興に向けた取り組みについて申し上げたいと存じます。So, the third topic、um, concerns、uh, how we are helping with the recovery or reconstruction efforts following the Great East Japan earthquake. 平成23年の3月11日に起きました東日本大震災は、被災範囲が極めて広範で、多数の犠牲者を出す、それから地震、津波、原発事故による複合的な災害でございまして、国民生活に多大な影響を及ぼしました。あのこの際、多くの国々からあ温かいご支援を賜りましたことを改めて御礼を申し上げたいと存じます。As you know,、uh, on March 11th, 2011,、uh, there was a huge earthquake,、uh, and as a result, a huge area of Japan and huge numbers of people were,、uh, became、uh, victims of this terrible disaster.、Uh, the disaster was a multi dimensional one in that there was the earthquake, the tsunami, and then the nuclear power plant accident. It, this was something that a huge That had a huge impact on the citizens of Japan. And I would like to take an op this opportunity to thank、uh, representatives from nations all over the world who extended their kind and warm support、um, after this disaster. あの被災者の生活支援、あるいは被災,者の被災地の復旧・復興にあたりましては、いろんな方面のご尽力が、努力があるところでございますが、あの法務省が所管する法人にです、ね、日本司法支援センター、あの法テラスと略称しておりますが、これが法的側面からあの復興に向けた取り組みを行ってまいりました。
Of course, uh, many persons and many organizations have been involved in with the reconstruction efforts, helping people uh, rebuild their lives, uh, trying to restore the devastated areas. Uh, what we are doing uh, on behalf of, the, uh, as the Ministry of Justice, is we are uh, running uh, centers which are called Japan Legal Support Centers. They're called Ho Terasu, which literally means legal terraces. Uh, but uh, these legal support centers um, provide uh, legal advice uh, to people in the devastated areas. で法テラスと申しますのは民事刑事を問わずあまねく全国におきまして誰でもが法的サービスの提供を受けられるようあの法制度やあそれから相談機関等に対する情報の提供それから視力に乏しい方に対する、えー、弁護士費用の立て替え援助などを行っておりましていわゆるあのリーガルエイド実施団体でございます。So this legal support center is basically a legal aid organization. Uh, it provides uh, legal uh, information, um, advice uh, about legal matters, introductions to uh, lawyers and um, other legal services organizations, uh, regardless of whether uh, your problem is a civil matter or a criminal matter. Uh, in extreme cases where people do not have monies for, uh, to cover legal fees, uh, the organization actually advances monies uh, to persons so they are able to get legal help. あの東日本大震災では多くの方々が家族,家,の家族やあるいは自宅をなくされるそれから避難生活を余儀なくされるそういう中で借家問題あるいは相続問題などさまざまな法律問題を同時に抱えることにあのなりましたしかし災害後のです、ね、極限的な環境におきましてはあの生活していくことだけが精一杯で法律問題は埋もれていく傾向にございますこういう法律問題を早期に組み上げ深刻化する前に解決に導くことこれがその地域の復旧復興に資するわけでございます。Uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, after the uh, East Japan earthquake, many people lost their homes, lost their families. Uh, they had to leave their uh, residences and leave as refugees. They had to struggle with many, many uh, legal problems, uh, such as what to do about rent on their homes, what to do about inheritance issues, uh, real estate, etc. But uh, following the earthquake and disaster, so many people were struggling with just the mental anguish of uh, having become victims. Uh, they simply could not deal with uh, these legal problems uh, because they were uh, pressed by more uh, important important uh, uh, survival issues. Uh, however, these uh, legal matters are very, very uh, important issues that eventually do need to be resolved. And we, as the Ministry of Justice, through these Japan Legal Support Centers, are trying to help people rebuild their lives and solve their legal problems. あのこれに対応するためにです、ね、あの被災地、各地、相当過疎地もたくさんあるわけでございますが、そういうところにこの法テラスの支部を作りまして、無料法律相談や弁護士票の立て替え支援策を行ってまいりました、もう活発な利用がございました。And offer people monies、uh, so that they can, they can、uh, hire lawyers if necessary. それから弁護士費用の立て替え等はです、ね、原子力災害に対する損害賠償請求にかかる集団訴訟にあの利用されたりしております。And some of the advance monies that we give for lawyers' fees have been used by some people in class action suits against utility companies, etc., to try to get compensation following the nuclear power plant accident. それであの私自身もいくつかのこの法テラスの支部を見てまいりましたが、あの大きな特徴がございます、それはあのそれぞれの法テラスのです、ね、出張所の職員はです、ねえー、自らもまた被災者であり、あるいは地元自治体の職員であった、そういった方を採用して、あの被災者の気持ちに寄り添っていける体制を。作っておりますあの被災地の方では自治体の要望に応じまして、あの法テラスに勤務する常勤の弁護士をあのいくつかの自治体に。あの派遣し,しておりますそれで被災自治体ではですね復旧復興施策を進める上で
あの法律問題に習熟している弁護士を任,つ任期付き職員として採用したいという要望が強いところでありまして、あの派遣された弁護士は、自治体の職員として、まちづくりにあの業務等にあの従事をしているわけでございます。We have also received some requests from very, very hard hit local governments.、Uh, they wanted to have、uh, lawyers with actual experience、uh, who can help them with、uh, different legal、um, problems. As a result,、uh, we have dispatched some lawyers to these local governments, and、uh, they have been employed as、um, fixed term limit、um, civil employees. In other words, they're going to be working for a certain number of years. As a result, they work very closely、uh, within the local governments、uh, as civil employees to try to build,、uh, the, rebuild the local communities. あの被災地の復興はまだ道半ばでございますが、こういう法的側面からの努力も、あの法務省としては力を入れてまいりたいと考えております。最後になりますが、私は一昨年の12月に法務大臣に就任して以来ですね。あの法の支配を確立していくということを念頭において、えー、仕事をしてまいりましたあいろいろ日本の法務行政についてはあのー、それぞれご不満もありいろいろなご批判もあることは承知しておりますが、えー、これからも充実した法務行政を推進して、えー、法の支配の確立のためにあの努力してまいりたいと、えー、このように考えております。So, in conclusion,、uh, I have been serving as Minister of Justice since December of 2012, and ever since、uh, I have accepted this responsibility, I've worked very, very hard to try to further the rule of law、uh, in Japan.、Um, I understand, of course, that from、uh, many persons' point of view,、uh, our legal uh, uh, system, uh, many of our laws uh, are, are uh, the source of a great deal of criticism.、Uh, I understand this, but I hope you will understand that we are trying to do our very, very best to, again, further the rule of law in Japan. Thank you very much. ありがとうございました。So th thank you very much.、Uh, this is a good example for the advantage of the Japanese language. Again, 16 minutes Japanese needs longer for English translation, but we should be happy it's not translated into German, it's even longer than that.、Um, so,、uh, Mr. Tanegaki、uh, said he would um, um, give us 10 minutes more. Um, and time to have, as I can see, we have many questions. So let's start with Anthony, then the lady here, and、uh, Siegfried, and you. <laughs> and please、uh, keep the questions short as time is. And Anthony Rowley, Singapore Business Times.、Uh, Minister, I'd like to ask you a question、uh, that draws on your experience as Justice Minister and also formally as Finance Minister. Um, Abenomics is going to require some very fundamental changes in Japan, including legal changes. And some experts I've spoken to suggest that this may take at least five years. Do you agree with that timescale that this, these、um, reforms will indeed take a long time? And in the meantime, do you think that further fiscal and possibly monetary stimulus will be necessary for the Japanese economy? 今まであのその法務大臣だけではなくその財務大臣としてご活躍されてきたわけでございますが、まあ、いろんなその法改正などが行われているのでございますが本当に日本の,そのシステムが変わるのには5年ぐらいかかるのではないかというふうにも指摘されているわけでございますこのような今までの,その法改正などで十分だと思いますでしょうかそれともさらにその日本経済の活性化を実現するためにはよりまあ刺激的なその財政的なその措置というのも必要だと思われますでしょうかあのアベノミクスの,あの主な,あなんて言うんでしょうかあの項目といいますかね主な論点は大体あの出てきたのではあ,あるいは出てきつつあるのではないかと思っておりますあのその効果が出ていくためにはしばらくまだあ時間はかかるだろうとあの思いますしかし今のところは相当順調に来ておりますがあのむしろ順調すぎるぐらいに順調に来ましてです、ねえー、これはまたアメリカでイエレンさんがどういうふうにこれからやっていかれるのかとかいろんな問題がございますが、えー、今のところ
あの非常に順調に来ておりますが思い切った手法を安倍さんがおとりになってきただけにですねいろんなことには相当目配りをしていかなければいけないというあの感じあの私は法務大臣で今経済財政政策の,あの細かな点はよく分かりませんがそういう目で今あの見ております。Um, I'm assuming you're talking about abnomics, and certainly、um, I believe that in regard to the main uh, topics uh, or uh, contents of abnomics,、um, almost all of the、uh, main ideas have been presented. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, the effects,、uh, of course, it will take some time for the effects to be fully、uh, realized or to fully appear, but I think、uh, overall we can say that、uh, the、uh, positive effects of abnomics、uh, are moving steadily forward. Uh, in fact, uh, sometimes uh, people are saying that、uh, they're moving too steadily forward.、Uh, In regard to what will happen in the future,、uh, it, this is not just something that is dependent on what happens in Japan.、Uh, for example, what will、uh, the head of the FRB in the US,、uh, Ms. Yellen, do?、Uh, that is also going to affect us. Uh, however, um, Right now, I am in charge of the、uh, Ministry of Justice, and I am not uh, therefore uh, uh, a, a main member of、uh, fiscal、uh, and management、uh, policy. However, what I can say is that、uh, because some of the steps that、uh, Mr. Abe has taken have been so very large and so very、um, uh, all encompassing, that、uh, we do have、uh, to also take care of some of the、um, effects uh, that uh, his policies have taken uh, in uh, various areas. In other words, we have to make sure that everyone is being、uh, satisfied. シンガポールプラスホーディー日本特派員の府です。あのえっ、ー、と確か移民は日本にとってはすごく重要で大事で。ただ一つ私が疑問を持っているのは移民政策をやるやろうとしてもまだヘイドスピーチみたいな。ことがいっぱいありますのでその辺の法的な取り締まりはどういうふうに思いますかまたもう一つは投資に関しても外国からもあのやっぱり中国が一番重要な投資家にもなるかもしれませんのでただ今の反中的な雰囲気はどのようにそれをあのいい方に持っていくか疑問を持ってますそれに対する答えをお願いしますあ、from Singapore have two questions、um,。certainly、uh,、immigration policy is very important、uh, for Japan、uh,。however、uh,、in spite of the fact that you are saying we want to welcome more foreigners to Japan、we do have、uh, this very negative thing occurring in Japan、which are the appearance of these hate speeches。in regard to hate speeches、um,、do you intend to take some kind of legal action、uh, in this regard。secondly、in regard to the importance of investment、especially from abroad、uh,、in the near future、it could be that China could be one of the most important foreign investing countries、uh, in、uh, the Japanese economy、uh,。when we consider the fact that、uh, relations with China are strained。What do you think could be done in this area? あのヘイトスピーチに関しましてはですね私は大変これはあの恥ずかしいことだと思っておりますあの日本人はあもっとおおらかな自信を持たなければいけないああいうところああいうヘイトスピーチというようなものはですね、えー、自身に対するおそのおおらかな自信を持つということができなくなっていると私は大変残念なことだと思っておりますそしてこれに関しましてはもちろんあのいろいろな啓発活動をしていくということは大事でございますこういうことは許されることではないと政府もあるいは閣僚として政治家としてもですねあらゆる機会を捉えて発言をしていく必要があるかと思いますそれから法的な措置につきましてはご承知のようにあの、まあ、私京都出身ですが京都におけるこの活動につきましてですね裁判所は第一審、第二審ともにそのヘイトスピーチあの活動の違法性を認めたあ判決を出しました、えー、しかしですねその,その取締り放棄ということになりますと場合によるとその言論の自由表現の自由ということとの関係がないわけではありませんないわけではありませんのでそれをどういう立法にしていくかというのはあの相当注意を払わなければいけないと思いますいけないと思いますが最高裁判所があのようなあの裁判所の判断があのようなことを認めるというのはまあ、あの法務大臣は判決が適切かどうかということは論評しないことになっておりますがあ,のああいう判決を出されているということを十分に考慮していろんな対策を考える必要があると思います。それから、まあ、あの確かに今、中国との関係はです、ね、あのかなりあのなんて言うんでしょうか、なかなか難しいことが多くなってきております、それでやはり我々はです、ね、中国とこの大き隣国でありまして、えー、簡単に移動してしまうというわけには、これはもうできない
わけでございます。それで私はこれはあの今の難しさの根本にございますのはですね、あのー、やはり中国は急速に経済力をつけですね、成長してきております。そうしますと、そういうときはです、ね、これは過去の歴史を見ましてもその、その力に見合ったやはり秩序の見直しを求めていくということがしばしばあるわけでございまして、えー、秩序の見直しを求める方あるいは秩序の見直しを求められる方双方にあのこの慎重な配慮が必要であろうと、私は考えております。えー、日本もです、ねえー、1945年に戦争に負けましてから、高度経済成長を遂げたときはです、ね、日本自身としてはかなり抑制しながら、そういう日本の地位の向上に対して、向上の踏まえ,踏まえ,踏まえて、日本の地位の改善を主張してまいりましたが、かなり全体的には抑制的にやってきたつもりでおります。えー、そういうういい中であのどういうふうに中国がそういう関係あの自分の今の大きな力ですね成長に向けて、えー、あの秩序の見直しを主張されるのかそれを我々はどう受け止めるのかお互いによく双方の考えを踏まえながら理解を深めていくことが私は何よりも大事だとこう考えております。Appearance of hate speeches in Japan.、Uh, as a Japanese person, I might feel very ashamed that such things、uh, occur. I believe that、uh, Japanese people who participate in hate speeches are simply displaying to the world the fact that、uh, they lack、uh, self confidence, they lack confidence in themselves. And because they lack this self confidence, they don't have the ability to be kinder and more accepting、uh, of others. I think it is a very, very unfortunate thing、uh, in, indeed. And I believe that certainly、um, enlightenment PR activities uh, to uh, uh, allow people to understand that this kind of activity is. Unacceptable、uh, should be uh, promoted. Um, that should be done by the government, by cabinet members, by politicians. Every opportunity、uh, where they can speak out and say that this kind of thing is unacceptable,、uh, they should certainly speak out. In regard to、um, what kind of legal uh,、um, uh, matter or legal、uh, actions can be taken,、um, as you may know,、um, I come from、um, Kyoto,、uh, that is my electoral district, and in Kyoto、uh, there was a court case uh, that uh, on the, on the, me, during the first、uh, at the district level and the high court level, both Verdicts、uh, said that、um, hate speeches uh, were uh, unacceptable.、Uh, so, in regard uh, to uh, what kind of、um Crackdown, perhaps、uh, we could uh, do in terms of these hate speeches. This is a very, very uh, difficult um, uh, uh, issue because,、uh, on the one hand,、uh, hate speeches、uh, should not be permitted, but on the other hand, by tr-、uh, cracking down on them, you run into the problem that you might infringe upon、uh, the people's right to freedom of speech, freedom of expression.、Um, so、in other words, what kind of、uh, legislation can be drafted that can somehow、uh, prevent these kinds of hate speeches but still not infringe upon people's fundamental rights to speak out and Uh, express their opinions. Having said this, however, since there already was a court decision uh, made uh, about hate speeches,、uh, as a Minister of Justice,、uh, it is not, I am supposed to never comment upon my personal views about court、uh, verdicts. However, s- since we do have a very distinct uh, cor- uh, verdict that was issued by the courts,、uh, I believe that we can use this as a foundation to move forward、uh, in regard to future、uh, legislation. In regard to、uh, our relationship with China, as you've pointed out, of course,、uh, relations between the two countries are very、um, uh, unpleasant, uh, uh, not good at present.、Uh, but this is something that we must work out. After all, they are, we are neighbors, and neither country can simply m- pick up and move、uh, to a different geographical location.、Uh, when we look at、uh, what is happening with China,、uh, it is uh, understandable uh, that uh, they are changing as a nation. It is because they are suddenly becoming a very strong economic power. And, pe- and history shows us that when a country develops, Economic might. They want to stand up and become confident and change their sp-、um, position or standing in the world order. However,、uh, although it is natural for、uh, a rising country to demand a change、uh, in、uh, their position in the world order, with the people demanding a change and the people、uh, being asked to、uh, receive that change, both sides must be calm and careful and、uh, consider all、uh, possible ramifications. What I mean by this is that when we look back, back at our own、uh, Japanese history in 1945, Japan. 
and lost the war. Uh, and after that, it began to develop as an economic uh, power. Even within Japan, as Japan developed more economic might, there were voices raised that we should work harder to um, raise our standing or position uh, in the international community. However, I believe that even though there were such uh, aggressive voices raised, I think the overall um, effect of uh, conclusion in Japan was that such voices should be held down as much as possible. In other words, there should be self-restraint on the part of the Japanese nation. Uh, so this was what happened with Japan. Uh, what China will do in the future, we must all uh, work very carefully uh, to see what will happen. But we also believe, I also believe that um, shared understanding of each other's positions and desires and hopes uh, is very, very important. So, that's it. Richard Lloyd Parry of The Times. Uh, Minister, among your duties, you have the very weighty responsibility of signing or choosing not to sign execution orders for condemned death row prisoners. And that, that's, a, um, that's a duty which very few people in the world ever have to face, that of coolly deciding whether somebody is going to live or die. And I wondered if you could tell us, as a a sensitive and thoughtful person, how that feels to be faced with that decision and what goes through your mind as you make that decision. And related to that, uh, I think it's true that in the long term over the past few decades, the trend internationally has been towards abolition of the death penalty, certainly among advanced economies. It's really only Japan and the United States now who continue with the death penalty. I know that it's, it's not likely in the near future, but in the long term, looking into the future, do you think Japan will eventually go down the path of abolition? はい、タイムズ、シドゴザイマス、あの、え、ホモダイジーの、え、最も、え、難しい、あの、お仕事の一つは、その死刑囚、え、ものも苦しい、え、あの、え、責務っていうのは誰も、え、担いたくないものではない
Uh, in Japan, uh, there of course have been many, many uh, discussions and uh, debates about uh, the necessity or uh, the non-necessity of having the death penalty. Uh, legal, uh, philosophical uh, debates have raged about this uh, matter. However, to the best of my understanding, uh, in Japan, uh, it seems that the death penalty today still uh, receives a support. In other words, the majority of Japanese people believe that there is a need for the death penalty. Uh, in uh, answer to your question, uh, will the death penalty eventually be abolished in Japan. What I can say is that it's very, very difficult to predict the future. However, at least in the short term, I do not see the death penalty being abolished in Japan. So, the COVID-19 pandemic-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19-19
policies that might be implemented in the future. I would like to ask you basically what policies are under discussion or under review in your ministry to uh, also open maybe open uh, the gates for more immigration in the not so qualified uh, parts of the labor market. ドイツの金融新聞の問題でございます。その移民政策でございます。特にそのスキルを有しております。その外国人労働者をもっとあの連れてきあのあの日本に来てもらいたい。そしてまたそのインターンプログラムっていうのもあるのはわかるんでございます。しかしながらそれと別にあの安倍首相は例えばそんなにスキルを有してないような人たち、例えば建設業で働くような人たち、あるいは介護士とかまあいろんなあの新しいカテゴリーの人たちもまあ移民として受け入れたいというようなお話をしているわけでございます。あの日本の役所というものは必ずその一つのテーマについて徹底的にいろいろ調べていることではないかと思います。でありますので、法務省の中でもいろんな議論があの進んでいると思うんでございますので、その結果近い将来にどのようなカテゴリーのその移民というのが将来的に日本に受け入れるよう受け入れられるようになると思われますのでしょうか。あの今の日本の,あの、まあ、移民政策という言葉が使うのが適当かどうか分かりませんがあの政策の基本はあ一つはその先ほど申し上げたような高度人材というような方々にはできるだけあの来ていただけるようにしたいそして、えー、日本に定着をして活,動して活躍していただきたいというのが一つでございます。So I don't know if,、uh, if the correct、um, uh, wording would be、uh, immigration policy,、uh, but、uh, our fundamental uh, uh, approach uh, to this idea is that, as I mentioned earlier,、uh, one category that we do want to invite in great numbers to Japan are what we call highly skilled foreign professionals. We want them to teichaku is the word that is being used, which is means、uh, to settle or reside in Japan and、uh, be, be very active、uh, in Japanese society. それからあのたんいわゆる単純労働と言われるものに関しては先ほど申し上げたような技能実習制度の枠内で、えー、そ,のそこの乱用があったり、えー、人権侵害があるというような素知りを受けないようにきちっと本来の目的に照らしてやっていく、えー、技能移転と、えー、国際的な技,能技術移転と,ということにきちっと絞ってやっていくというのが基本だろうと思います。In regard to uh, people uh, lacking uh, these highly, highly、uh, high skills,、uh, in other words, more simple labor、uh, categories of persons, as I mentioned earlier, that we have this technical intern and training program, and this is something that we want to refine and revise and make stronger.、Uh, we want to make sure that it is not abused, that human rights violations do not occur as a result of this program. We want to make sure that the original concept behind this training program, which is to transfer technology and skills and knowledge to other countries,、uh, is realized. ただあの、今、日本は若年人口が減っておりますし、えー、もちろんその日本の若年人口の活用ということを十分に考えなければなりませんが、あ震災復興に必要なあ労働力、あるいは2020年の東京オリンピック・パラリンピックに向けて必要な労働力、うこれがあもう足らないという声があ,のあちこちにあるのも事実でございます。Uh, and of course,、uh, we know that、uh, we have uh, not only uh, decreasing numbers of young people、uh, in Japan, but even these decreased numbers of young people in Japan, they also need a place to be able to work and thrive. So we must take care of、uh, those young people.、Um, but on the other hand, as you suggested,、uh, there, are, there is a need uh, uh, that uh, we need even more workers、uh, in Japan, in particular to help with the reconstruction recovery efforts after the great、uh, East Japan earthquake and also in preparation for the 2020 Olympics. しいましてそういうところの対応というのはどうしていくかということですが、まあ、現在あの、考えてあの実行に移,しており移そうとしておりますことはあの技能実習を得たものの中からあそのきちっと。なんていうんですか職種をさあの定めましてそしてきちっとしたところにはもう少しそれの活用の余地を開いていこうということで今やっております。So, how are we going to deal with this problem?、Uh, one of the things that we are con contemplating right now and trying to、uh, move towards implementation is to take some of the people who have been part of the technical intern training program. Once they have completed their training and meet certain conditions, we would like to be able to allow them to stay longer in Japan and work in specific、uh, jobs that have been assigned to them. 
、でそれを超えてどうしていくかというのはまだ議論が十分に煮詰まっておりません。ただあ安倍政権のもとではいわゆる特区制度の中で、えー、例えばあのー。女性の社会進出に伴う家事労働というものをどうしていくのか、等々ですね、あるいは介護等、ずいぶん今、日本には必要になっておりますが、そういうところをあの特区の中で、えー、どういう問題点があるのかというものを少し試してみようといいますか、まあ、そういうところに来ております、それ,でそれを超えて、日本全体の,あの雇用政策といいますか労働、労働力政策としてどうしていくかということは、まだ実は十分議論が煮詰まっていないというのが実情でございます。Beyond that,、uh, there are many discussions that are being、uh, done uh, in uh, different parts of Japan. However, none of the discussions have really come to fruition.、Uh, they have not reached conclusions yet.、Uh, we are、uh, experimenting with different、um, ideas. For example, Prime Minister Abe has、uh, set forth a strategy of creating special、uh, economic zones.、Uh, there, uh, there are places、uh, where different ideas can be、um, experimented with. For example,、uh, one of Prime Minister Abe's、um, pillars、uh, of his growth strategy is to promote、um, women. To become more active in society. But they will, if they're going to be more active in society, they are going to need help with housework,、uh, etc. How can we secure、uh, enough labor to help them uh, uh, be able to fulfill their jobs? Also, nursing care is a big area where we're going to need more、uh, labor. However,、uh, what specifically are we going to do uh, uh, about uh, this, uh, these um, uh, labor needs?、Uh, discussions are still ongoing. I'm very sorry, but extension time is、uh, more than over.、Um, so we have to finish here. As you can see, there are so many more questions. Maybe Minister Tanigaki might come back soon. You're always welcome.、Um, and、uh, so thank you very much for, for coming. And it's a pleasure to give you the one year membership of the Foreign Correspondence Club. So if you would like to meet one of the people asking questions, always welcome at our bar. <laughs> ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。